So how to report an observation. Incidents aren't isolated to workshops and operational areas. They can and do occur everywhere and can be avoided through a system of identifying unsafe conditions and unsafe behaviours before they occur. Incidents and injuries should be reported through your supervisor and to a member of ERF staff, but we would also like you to report safety observations. Observation report cards are designed to capture safe and unsafe acts and conditions and suggest ways to improve. We understand that sometimes it may not be appropriate for you to take action, but it is important to record hazards in order to manage or remove them. Repeat events of a similar nature could also drive further observations around an area of concern. Paper reports will be entered into our incident reporting system for action and audit. Observation booklets can be collected from the perm office and completed forms returned back to the same place. This section of the induction goes through some of our mandatory site rules. When you arrive on site, you must obey our site speed limit of 10 miles per hour. Parking for contractors is allocated in our contractor car park. You may be directed to our visitor parking or other areas during very busy periods. All cars must reverse park. Be aware that our site hall road is shared with waste delivery and other large vehicles. You should approach the traffic lights using either lane when empty or when no lane is free, use the right hand lane. Follow all traffic signals. Do not drive through red lights. If you are held behind queuing HGVs, the Weybridge staff will assist you with manoeuvring around the queue. We'll ask you to put your hazard lights on to do this. Do not overtake any vehicle without permission from the Weybridge staff. If they cannot see your vehicle, Turn off your vehicle and call the Weybridge number provided on this slide. Please follow any instructions given to you by site personnel while manoeuvring round site. Please take a moment to read these rules around of getting onto site. Copies will be made available on your arrival. In the event of a fire, please break glass to sound the alarm and inform a member of the Ardley ERF staff immediately. On hearing the evacuation alarm, which is a continuous klaxon, you must proceed to the muster point and be accounted for by the roll caller. You will only be allowed back to your work area when the all clear has been given by a member of Ardley ERF staff. Do not leave the site unless instructed to do so by Ardley ERF staff. Our fire alarms are tested on Wednesdays, 10 o'clock in the admin building, 
10.15 in the plant area and 10.30 in the contractor village. In any event where first aid was acquired, a first aid room is located on the ground floor. If you require first aid, please report by radio or other means to the control room, your supervisor or to BA Safety. All BA Safety personnel are first aid trained. Viro have additional first aiders on site 24-7. The site defibrillators are located at the control room and in reception. I wash and emergency showers are located around site close to specific hazardous areas. If your ramps identify the relevant hazards, please familiarise yourself with the locations before you start work. All accidents and incidents and near misses must be reported to ERF staff or to be safety. Spill kits are located around the facility in blue bins. Both chemical and oil kits are available and all spillages must be contained according to procedures. They must also be reported immediately to a member of Ardley ERF personnel. Under our environmental permit, Ardley is not permitted to dispose of liquid waste and spills into our drainage systems. Any contractor found putting any liquid or material into a drain will be removed from site and not permitted to return. All spill kits will be inspected as part of our safety walks on site and will be sealed and tagged. Please report any untagged or used spill kits to Virador staff or your supervisor. CCTV operates on site and is used for safety and security purposes.